Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, somebody has asked me to talk about the memory integrity feature that is actually a security feature in Windows. It's not just a Windows 11 thing. It's also a Windows 10 security feature. It's been there for a while, but the um, viewer actually is complaining that one driver prevents him from actually having that feature turned on. And I do understand this because if you go to your Windows security app and then you actually go to the device security on the left side, you will, of course, have core, core, core isolation security processor for the TPM and data encryption with BitLocker. But in the core isolation details, you will see memory integrity. Now, as you see here, it's turned off because if I do this, it will ask me to check, but it will actually come back off and it will say, oh, review incompatible drivers and resolve driver incompatibilities. So I do understand your, um, why you're worried of the fact that memory integrity is off and mine is off also. Unfortunately, it's off with a device that still doesn't have a proper driver for this uh, and it's off because I absolutely need to use the device that um, actually reports that error here. Uh, so what to do and why is it important that you try to have all this on is because memory integrity feature in Windows Defender, what it does is actually it isolates every driver of all the hardware. And when you install a new driver, it goes through that memory integrity feature where it will actually look for signs of it being a bad driver or something that shouldn't be here. And of course, if you have it on, if memory integrity is working, but then you install something that has a driver that isn't good, it will also report a problem and the memory integrity might turn off. Uh, the best thing to do if you do have a problem like that, and that's what I do, is regularly check with the manufacturer of the devices you use for updated drivers that actually might fix this issue. But in some cases, it might need to be off, and mine is off, and I have to stay off because of this, or else I'll just can't use the device. So um, what happens? What's the uh, security hazard of having this turned off? It's not that it's that big of a deal, but it is still a security feature that protects you in case of any uh, bad drivers that shouldn't be on your system that wants to actually take over part of your hardware. And so it isolates all of that in virtual cores in the memory to make sure that it can't infect anything else, that it stays within its core. So that's why when it's turned on, there's a security uh, of that is given to you with this because it will prevent any drivers that could contain malware, for example, to spread everywhere. It's going to be contained. The fact that it's off means that feature is not there anymore and it's not contained. Now, unless you do really bad stuff and download too many things from too many sources and too many places around the internet, it's not that big of a deal. Because technically, you should still be safe. It's not like you're opening up, you know, a real big flaw or a real big problem in Windows. And actually, we've had no memory integrity feature for such a long time in Windows. Um, so basically, if you're careful with what you do on your PC, it's not that big of a deal. But if you download too many things or if you're the kind that constantly has warnings of malware or all sorts of problems like that, that's a feature that will definitely help you stay safe. But in case where a driver is unfortunately not compatible like me and you need the device, well, you can still, if you're you know, careful with what you do on your PC, uh, you can still run your PC with the core isolation memory integrity feature turned off. Um, it's still going to be okay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.